Hi, today is the 10th of September 2022, which is a Saturday, a very sunny day. It's been very hot here and it feels like a good day to bring to you the total cost of this entire project. I know you've been looking forward to this video or you've been waiting for this video for a very long time. Today, it is finally here. So without not talking further, let's get right into the video. As you can see i have with me my laptop here which has all the records for this entire project too um, i tried as much as possible to keep records of every single expenses that went into this project from purchasing of nails purchasing of you know petty petty items water whatever it was i tried as much as possible to keep records of it so that in the end i know what it cost what it cost to finish up this project so let's just go ahead and um, get into the figures which I'm sure you are very much interested in I have with me here my excel sheet which contains the data or account of the entire you know project every single expenses now as you have noticed or watched from a series of or a couple of my videos the um, starting the project we started off with a foundation um, we did a clearing before we went out to the foundation, but we cleared both plots together and then went out to do the foundation from the foundation that is digging a foundation, um, constructing the foundation walls, um, doing the concrete, doing the floor on top of the foundation, going ahead to blocking up and then from blocking up, you know, go to the lentil level, do the con did the concrete on top of it, went out to continue blocking up to the gable um level and then from there went i to do the woodworks for the roofing sheet the roofing sheets were installed went i to install the windows and then the door frames and then the plastering was done from there went i to do the um piping that is the electrical even before the plastering we had to do the electrical piping works um, for the walls and then after that the plastering was done and then after that we had to do the wiring after the wiring went i to install the ceiling and then after that, went I to um, do the uh, scheming works for the ceiling and then the walls. And then after that, went I to do the screening for the ground, um, laying of the tiles. And then we finally went I to do the painting. Yeah, and then installing the doors, the lever blades, the net, and so on. So as you can tell, a lot has really gone into constructing of this building even though it's a small or a minimal house project it has gone through a series of phases and it has taken about um, seven and a half months to finish everything we officially started in december and then um, today is um, 10th of september so where i'm now recording the video so january february march april may june july um, so that's seven months and then a bit of I guess comes into it. So we finished everything sometime in I guess that was when the painting and everything was done and after some few weeks we eventually moved in. So we've been here close to a month now or should be should even be a month that's uh, for how long we've been here and so far so good it's been great. So um, yeah that is how the journey has been so far there are lots of lessons i have learned along the way which i'll be sharing with you and some videos there some of them goes into how i was able to save in your cost with me doing some of the projects um, or some of the 
works myself which you might have seen in some of the videos that I have up so I have my figures up and um, I'm going to go ahead to go through them talk about what it did until at each point and then after that I'll give you the overall total so the very first part has to do with the foundation as I made mention the foundation had to do with the digging um, the block works the filling as well as the concrete on top and also the molten of the iron mm. rod or the pillars for the foundation now the total cost for that was 7449 cities mm. and out of that as usual uh, I give you material cost um, and then labor cost so out of that we had a total of 4626 going into materials now the materials does include purchasing of stones sand cement iron rod as well as um i think blocks yes have i mentioned blocks already so purchasing of blocks as well and nails and wood for that part that's um what went into the material cost and then labor has to do with um total cost for labor is 2823 cities that also includes the digging um the block works or the masonry works as well as the flow on top as well as the steel works the steel bender doing the iron rods for um, the corners so that's that is the total cost for that so we have a total of 7449 cities and then we continue to the next part which is the blocking up now after the foundation waited for like about a week or two uh, for it to dry properly before it went out to do the blocking up work so the total cost for the blocking up is 10,216 cities so that was basically um, for block works and um, also for wood and um, the iron rods on top of that is a lentil, concrete on top of the lentil. So the total cost of materials was 8,111 cities. And like I was saying, uh, that's comprised of wood, blocks, cement, iron rods and nails. I think basically that. And out of that, labor was 2,105 cities for laying off the um, blocks. So that also includes um, the mason works, that is a mason cost, and also the um, carpenter who did you know, the wood for the lentil part. And then from there, we continue to the roofing part. The, so the total cost for the roofing was uh, 15,201 cities. Now, the roofing was in two parts. The first part was doing the wood works. That was where we did um, the wood joints and then also went out to do the ceiling joint for that and then after that we went out to do the roofing itself that is a roofing proper so for the roofing out of that material cost was 12,591 um, cities so um, the 12,000 does include the wood that was purchased for the woodworks as well as the um, the nails that was used and then also included the total cost for the roofing works itself so the roofing was seven thousand plus i added up to that too out of that five thousand something would have been for the wood uh, purchasing of the wood and then the nails and the, you know the material that went into the woodworks and then labor was two thousand six hundred and ten so the labor was just for my carpenters doing the woodworks it doesn't include that of the roofing sheet so i I classify the roofing sheet as part of material because DS included the material and then the workmanship. I don't know what it would have cost for workmanship, but everything was together. So that is part of the um, total of 15,201. So like I was saying, material was 12,591 cities and then labor was 2,610 cities, making a total of 15,201 cities for the roofing. And then from there, you go to the doors and then the windows, that was the doors and window frames as well as the doors and then the windows there's a liver blade the net and everything that makes up the, the entire complete door and then the window so that gives a give us a total of 9196 cities and out of that material was 8716 cities and the labor was uh, 480 cities so the um, wood frame for the um, that is the doors as well as the uh, windows the doors itself the louver blades that was installed the louver blade frames the net that is a metallic net the ceiling buttons that was nailed on top of it and then the security door as well makes a total of this i think the security door was 2750 uh, cities 
Uh, so I, I don't have uh, unless I go through my actual but that was roughly around what it did cost to have the security door and it's part of the total cost for this particular section so um, out of the 9,196 for materials it was 8,716 cities and then labor 480 cities so what went to labor was basically fixing of the um, the doors, the inner doors. I did the installation of the lever blades myself, so I saved some money there. And then I classified the installation of the um, security door as part of the masonry works that was during the plastering. So that is um, why we don't have that cost over here because the mason was the one who fixed um, that. And then from there, we go to electrical cost. So electrical has to do with the uh, materials that was the the pipes the cables the switches the sockets and everything that makes up the electrical part so the electrical part um, gave us a total of 8225 cities and then out of that material cost was 6418 cds as i said goes with the cables the pipes the conduit box the circular boxes the um the distribution board the lights the switches the socket and everything that comes under the electrical that is every material that comes under the electrical part and then out of that labor was 1807 cd so that was what uh, went into the um the electrical works and then from there we come to the plastering section the total cost for the plastering was 6869 cds and out of that 3099 cities went into materials and then 3770 cities went into labor so the materials was basically just um, purchasing of cement i think that was all we used for cement and then yeah i think and then also fixing of the security door uh, that even goes into labor so it was basically just cement for the plastering because we already had sand from the very initial stage and then um, labor was 3770 which was plastering both the inside the outside as well as doing the screening for the floor and then fixing of the security door and also fixing of the window frames and then the door frame so i classified all that as part of plastering and then from there we come to plumbing the total cost for plumbing is 2172 cities also with the plumbing i made a very huge save here because i you know did um, almost majority of the works um, at this particular point so out of that 1,252 uh, cities that is 1,252 cities went into purchasing of materials that includes the pipes um yeah but i think yeah it was just pipes and then the bands and then the glue uh for that and then out of that also 920 cities went into um let me just 920 cities went into labor so that was with regard to doing the foundation piping as well as doing the piping in the wall so that was the cost that went into that and then we come to the solar cost now the solar the total cost has increased from what it used to be but i'm going to be working with the old cost because that was like the um, I was considering that as a base you know solar system solution that everyone can start with so that was six thousand and um, six hundred and sixty cities let me just yeah keep it six thousand six hundred and sixty cities for that and that includes the solar panels the solar inverter the batteries and then um yeah i think that was just about it and then the box that has the batteries in it i classify that as part of um the total solar cost so that gives us a total of six thousand six hundred and sixty cities for that and then from there we continue to um, and then we to get to the solar so we don't have anything for labor because i basically um you know went ahead to do the configuration myself with the help of other people and the ceiling we come to the next item which is the ceiling works the total cost for the ceiling um was 5245 cities and out of that 3945 cities went into materials so the materials include the plaster boards the plaster board powder the pop powder the fiber the corner molding the home champ uh yeah i think those were materials that worked into the installation of the ceiling and then also for the outside ceiling because we didn't buy the tng we had to buy the corner molding for the tng as well as nails and then also screws for the plaster board so that gives it give us a total of 3945 cities and then out of that 1300 went into labor so the labor was those who did the um 
um, the scheming on top of the plaster board. So they, we, I did the installation with the help of my brother and we we're left with just about just the kitchen that was here to be. So those who came to do the scheming did the installation of that, went out to the scheming or the Andre on top and then did the scheming on, on the walls and then fixed the corner molding as well for the entire house. That is the inside part of the house. So that gave us a total of 1,300. And then we have the Sokaway. I'm sorry, we have the tiling. So the total cost for the Thailand is 7,843 cities. I know you've, you've watched the video with the way I went about the Thailand, how I got the tiles and everything. From purchasing of the Thailand, transporting it here and so on. So the total uh, material cost for the Thailand was 6,593 cities. So the majority of it went into the purchasing of the tiles for every part of the house that includes the floor tiles the 60 by 60 the wall tiles that is the 25 by 50 or is it 30 by 50 and then also 30 by 60 and then yeah for the bathroom area we used uh, 40 by 40 for that and then the labor cost for that also as um or was 1250 cities so that was basically laying of the tiles for the floor as well as the walls of the entire house and then we continue to the Sukaway um, pit that is 4,444 cities out of that material cost was 2,424 the material includes the purchase of blocks cement and then waterproof cement and iron rods that was used for the top of the pit and and the labor cost for that was 2,020 cities so that was basically the mason um, as well as the one who did the digging of the pit now how for kitchen and bathroom wear as well as painting and uh, water pump and poly tank so basically the entire house is having a building done the roofing the plastering the ceiling fixing of doors and everything and making it ready to accept um, any installation of maybe kitchen wear bathroom wear and the rest so um i'll give you the cost for the bathroom and kitchen wear however i don't classify that as part of a total cost for having like an entire house like this constructed so because um uh, some people may have different you know choice of um bathroom wear kitchen wear that you might want to use so i'll give you the cost of that but i won't classify that as part of my total cost so um the kitchen wear bathroom wear give us a total of 4405 cities uh, for that out of that material cost was 4405 cities because i did installation um with the help of my brother so we didn't spend anything over there for labor and then we come to painting so painting is a part of having the house complete and making it ready to uh move in excluding that of the bathroom and kitchen where so total cost for painting was 2107 cities and then out of that 1807 cities went into uh materials so material has to do with um the purchase of the paint um the filler the tap and tar and yeah basically everything that had to do with the painting work and then the labor was i think over i have 300 but i remember paying more than 300 i paid about 400 um see so i have to correct that let me make this 400 and that gives us that should give us a total of um, 2,207 cities. So the total instead of 2,107 should be 2,207 cities uh, for the total cost. And labor remains, um, labor is 400 cities and then material cost is 1,807 cities. And then I also have water pump and body tank, which I also don't classify as part of the total cost for the entire building. So for poly tank and a water pump, give us a total of uh, 1,000. 605 cities and then material cost was 1325 so the material cost includes the poly tank itself the platform for the poly tank as well as no i think the platform was done when the pit was being constructed so that cost is part of the pit uh cost so the uh poly tank and then water pump includes the poly tank itself the water pump and then the burglar proof that you have for the um the the cylinder area as well as the water pump area so this basically this was the total cost for this um, project so let me just put them together 
um, taking away those ones I made mention of not being part of it. And then after that, I'll give you the overall total cost that includes both the kitchenware, the bathroomware, as well as the water pump and poly tank, and then also the upgrade of the solar system. So the total cost uh, over here is 85,727 cities. And like I made mention, that includes all the costs I'm giving you for the foundation, um, blocking up roofing doors, electrical, plastering, plumbings, and then for the solar, instead of the total cost we have here, which is 9,168, I used 6,660. That was with two batteries, one solar, um, two solar panels, and then also the inverter, and then the cage for the batteries, and then also for the tiling, and then the soak away paint, as well as the painting. So the kitchen wear, and then the bathroom wear, it doesn't fall apart this as well as the water pump and poly tank doesn't for a part of it now putting everything together the overall total we have over here is um that is for all that i've made mention is 85,727 to have this something like this done make um considering the fact that i saved some amount of money because of i did some works myself so i'll, I'll make a different video on how much i saved and all what i was giving a breakdown of the works and then what I saved and then um, the overall total over here which I have as of now is 94,145 cities there's been a little more expenses to this which I'll update it to that um, in a different video I'll give you like the overall total including the fixtures inside that is the kitchen where bathroom where and yeah that would just that would basically be about that now also um, constructing this house you might be interested in the total number of especially cement um that was used throughout the entire uh phase so let me just take you through it so the foundation we used a total of 33 bags of cement blocking up we used 46 bags of cement plastering we used 46 bags tiling we used 11 bags so can we pay to use 12 bags making a total of 148 um, pieces so i'll classify it as 150 pieces because we use like about two bags for some petty petty works on the house and also for the blocks the total number of blocks we've used so far is 1740 um, pieces that includes that of the pit and then also the stand for the poly tank so for foundation we use 500 pieces of blocks for blocking up the entire house we use 1100 making a total of 1600 for the entire house and then 110 for the soak away pit and then the biodigester and then 30 pieces for the uh, poly tank stand so basically this is the breakdown of what has gone into the house so my total cost for the purpose of this video and people who have been interested especially when i was making videos talking about various things and also with the solar as a what we had um as a then um comes at a total of eighty five thousand seven hundred and twenty seven cities so and of our total as of now that includes the upgrade of the solar system and every other thing uh, makes it 94,145 cities um, excluding some few more expenses I've made for some petty petty things which I'll add up to what I have here and I'll um, talk about that in a different video and I'll also explain the upgrade of the solar system which has happened so far so that um, you get to you know understand that so I think this video is becoming um, lengthier so I'm just going to keep it here for now in case you have any questions just let me know in the comment section um, if there's any other thing you would want me to touch on or talk about more just let me know and i'll do my best to talk about them so that'll be about it for this video thank you very very much for being a part of this journey from the very beginning to this particular point the videos are not done yet i have a lot of videos to make and even after this um, video making videos about this house there are other videos i intend to make about other building projects and i'll be sharing with you more details on that uh, coming soon so thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for being a part of this journey i really appreciate all the support the assistance the donations everything i'm very very grateful so without not talking further um, i'll end this video now and i'll see you in a different video